So now we know the differences between these tribes, these three tribes, Canaan, Israel, Esau. The Negro, the so-called white man, and the degenerate seed, serpent seed, bastard son, Mamzer, Canaan, are involved in this last story. So we know that the rulership is going to fall to Israel, who we have identified as the so-called Negro on the earth. The Negro man and woman and child. The blessing and the birthright is theirs. We've identified this clearly in the last video. We identified that the so-called white race or the so-called Neanderthal, so-called red hairy man, whatever words you guys want to call them, Viking, shit, whatever the hell words you guys want to describe it with, we know that that's who it is. The Roman. Edom. Okay? The so-called Roman. It's not hard to understand. If you ask them themselves, they will tell you that that's who they are. So they have identified themselves as Rome. Edom is Rome. Okay? Red. Red child. Red child. See, he came out red and hairy. So we know that's the same guy. See? The red child. Okay? He came out red. Said that itself in the Bible. Okay. Now we will identify Israel as a so-called Negro. Very clearly. Okay, so we know that it's going to the so-called Negro and we know that it was given to the so-called Roman man or so-called Caucasian man, whatever words you want to call it, whatever words you want to use on, to say it, the Roman man, the Edomite. It, w it was theirs first. He sold it and gave it to Jacob, which is the so-called Negro man. Okay, now what about Canaan? Where does he fall into this mix? Well, we read Rebecca, the mother of Esau and Jacob. Tell them very clearly, in very clear terms, do not marry the daughter of a Canaanite. Do not marry a Canaanite woman. You see? Because they are a cursed seed. So do not blend your genetics with them. You see? They were explicitly told this by their mother, Rebecca. It's in the scriptures. You can search and find it yourself. I don't do other people's homework for them. So now, what did Esau do when he got married, guys? He married two wives of the Canaanites. So now we know that this serpent bloodline and this, this Neanderthal bloodline have mixed. Because he married two wives of the Canaanites. Now what did Jacob do when his mother told him that? He married two wives of his own kin. His two cousins, actually. Now, we know that this was a righteous thing that Jacob did by marrying his two, his two cousins because in the book of Tobit, we read where it says that do not marry a wife of a strange nation, but do like your forefathers did because you are the son of the prophets and the sons of the elect people. Do as they did and marry a wife of your own kindred. That means your own family of your own nation. Your own tribe. And then he says, to make this clearer, he says, do as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did because they're your fathers. Well, let's see what Jacob did. He married his two first cousins, which is not incest as far as the Most High is concerned. You can read it in the Torah. He'll tell you. This isn't, see how li all lives are being ripped apart? You see? He married his cousins, which was righteous in the eyes of the Most High. That's why he had peace and found peace with his wives and their seed line. They had the 12 tribes of Israel, which are the blessed seed of the Most High. So we know he blessed that union of Jacob and his wives. Esau, on the other hand, decided to, to give his seed to two Canaanite women, which is the cursed seed. So now we see there's an oath made. There's a covenant made with Esau and Canaan in the blood. Do you see that? So, do you see why, what the error is? Everybody wants to try to, you know, say that there's no, you guys don't understand the difference between the white man and the Canaanite, the white man and the false Jew. Because it's all been exposed that there's a false Jew on the earth. Most I said it right there in the book of Revelation. Those who call themselves Jews, the blasphemy of those who call themselves Jews and are not. Who could that be? Who calls themselves Jews on the earth? Hmm. Hmm. What about the book Shlomo Sand? When he said the, the invention of the Jewish people, that they are actually Khazarians from the Caucasus Mountains. They are cavemen. 
They are actually cave beasts. They dwell in the clefts of the rock because they mix their seed. Esau and him mix their seed together. Esau lives in the clefts of the rock too. He's a caveman, a Neanderthal. The Neanderthal and the caveman. See? You guys are seeing this clearly? And if you don't see it, go back to my first video. I break it down very clearly, the marks of these people. So now we know who they are and where they fall into this story. And who they married and who their descendants are. And they made a covenant with Canaan, Esau did, in their blood. And so the descendants are mixed. Jacob married his own kin, his own tribe, kept his blood pure. You see? Isaac, what was Rebecca to him? What were their relation? Were they cousins? Uh-oh, there it is again. And he said, do that, Israel. See? You've been taught that it's wicked and wrong. But it's right there in the scriptures that your forefather did it. And right there in the book of Tobit, he says to do that thing. Your own kindred. See, you use when it says kindred, they like to use that scripture to say, well, see, you will have uh, enmity with your own kindred, divisions, mother and daughter, fathers and sons. You will have division in your own kin. A prophet is without honor in his own kin. They use that when they say it's their family. But when it says marry your own kin, they don't want to say that. They're, oh, shit. And the most I laid it out. Now, if we know that Canaan is a degenerate seed from his mother and her son laying together, then we know that's incest and the most high cursed it. So that's not what he's talking about by marry your kin. OK, it's very natural. OK, is it natural for a son to have sex with his mother? No. Is it natural for there to be kissing cousins on the earth? Yes. Now, we're told that it's wicked, but the most high obviously blessed that union. And they come up with all reasons why. Well, there was only a little bit of seed on the earth and blah, 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 blah. Well, how come Tobit told his son to do the same thing? So, like I said, all truth is coming out today, man. We're exposing all truth. So now we know these seeds. We know what they do. We know what they're here to do. We know what they're trying to do. So Canaan, back to him. He is the degenerate seed. He is the cursed seed. Okay? Now he's trying to say that the Negroes are... Uh, Canaan. Okay, how can that be the case if the Zondervan Bible Dictionary says Ham, the father of the dark races, the progenitor of the dark races, and then it lists these dark races. They're all Hamite nations, African nations. Libya, Canaan is mentioned. See? Put. Egyptians are mentioned. You see? And then when it gets to the Negro, it says, but not the Negroes. What a strange way to write that. Father of the dark races, not the Negroes. So the Negroes on the earth are not the sons of Ham. We've been lied to again. You see? So one of my last videos that for some reason the comments are blocked. I've been trying to put comments on there and they're blocked. I had somebody with me with their own phone was saying, nope, they're not popping up. They're not popping up. I'm loading the comments right there. They're not popping up. So that's very strange. I find that strange. So I'm just going to tell you guys. On my last, one of my last videos... A person commented saying that so-called blacks are Canaanites. So the Negroes are Canaanites. Well, the Zondervan Bible Dictionary says that he is not the father of the Negroes. So, and that's the Bible Dictionary, the definition of Ham. So do we believe that or do we believe you, commenter? See? We know that the Negroes come from Shem. We know that Canaan comes from Ham. He hates that. He's trying to hide that. And he's trying to take the identity of the Israelites and steal it by out of his own mouth. He has done this. He has fooled you all. He has tricked you all and deceived you all because he's more subtle than any beast of the field. He's clever. He's sneaky. He's crafty, but he's not, he's not more crafty than the most high. <laughs> he's not more wise than the most high is. You see, and we pull the, we're putting the veil off of this. So Canaan is the imposter on earth who has tried to usurp his brother's spot because, he, because he's never been accepted or loved by his father. That's Canaan's problem. Noah rejected Canaan, did he not? Didn't he, isn't he the one who cursed Canaan? See, he cursed Canaan. So Canaan was never accepted or loved. And who is the apple of Noah's eye? Obviously, it's Shem. And Canaan hated that shit. And so I'm going to take his spot. And Esau mixed with this 
degenerate seed. He married into it. So do you understand what the shit is here? It's bloodline, guys. You see? So the wool is off of the lies now. The, the, there, there are fake Jews on the earth, okay? Abba said it out of his own word. We've now discovered who they are. They've said themselves that's who they are. They know they're lying. They know that they're imposters. They know that they're faking the funk, as we say. And they know that, that the so-called Negro has been in a sleep, so they've called him that. They've called him all kinds of names because he's been in a state of sleep, and now he's awakened. He's roused up. And he's commanding and calling for his throne to be put back in its place and him to be set up back upon it. You see? And he's going to destroy all the lies, all the liars who try to take his spot. You see, Esau wanted his spot and Canaan. So they worked together to try to take it from him and they both will be crushed. See, because right now they're going to be at war with each other. House divided can't stand. You see, house divided can't stand. So all the wool is off. It's, this is the revealing. This is the apocalypse. That's what I'm here to do. Pull the wool off all your bullshit. Everybody go back home. Go back to your flag so that when these fireballs come down, you ain't got no choice. When they hit your flag, they're going to hit everything under that flag. So if you're not under this flag of Judah, truth and love, and the 12 tribes of Israel who have also followed behind Judah under truth and love, then your ass is going to burn when that fireball hit because it ain't going to hit these ensigns. It's going to raise these ensigns up into heaven right before your very eyes. The truth will rise and love will rise and fear and lies, which is your world, will fall. Kwam Yasrala and Siloam Yasrala to you, the true Yasrala.